How to overcome a death of a loved one? Whether it's a close friend, spouse, partner, parent, child, or other relative, few things are as painful as losing someone you love. After such a significant loss, life may never seem quite the same again. But in time, you can ease your sorrow, start to look to the future, and eventually come to terms with your loss. Grieving is a highly individual experience. There's no right or wrong way to grieve. How you grieve depends on many factors, including your personality and coping style. Your life experience, your faith, and how significant the loss was to you. Inevitably, the grieving process takes time. Healing happens gradually forced or hurried and there is no normal timetable for grieving some people start to feel better in weeks or months for others the grieving process is measured in years whatever your grief experience it's important to be patient with yourself and allow the process to naturally unfold Number one, join in rituals. Memorial services, funerals, and other traditions help people get through the first few days and honor the person who died. Just being in the presence of other people who knew your loved one can be comforting. Number two, tell yourself that grief is normal. Grief is very, very painful. However, working through this pain is necessary in order to heal and move on from a great loss. Try to resist the urge to shut down, go numb, or pretend like your loved one has not died. Do not deny that something bad has happened to you and that you are hurting. Grieving is healthy. It is not a sign of weakness. Let your emotions be expressed and released. Don't stop yourself from having a good cry if you feel one coming on. Don't worry if listening to particular songs or doing certain things is painful because it brings back memories of the person that you lost. It's natural to feel this way. After a while, it becomes less painful. Know that you can feel better over time. Number 4. Expect to feel anger. After the reality of the death sets in, you might feel angry. You might direct your anger at anything, at yourself, at your family, at your friends, at 
people who have not experienced a loss. At the doctors, at the funeral director, or even at your loved one who is gone. Do not feel guilty about this anger. It is normal and healthy. Number 5 Talk about it when you can. Some people find it helpful to tell the story of their loss or talk about their feelings. But... Sometimes, a person doesn't feel like talking about a loss and that's okay too. No one should feel pressured to talk. Even if you don't feel like talking, find ways to express your emotions and thoughts. Start writing in a journal about the memories you have of the person you lost and how you're feeling since the loss. Or write a song, poem, or tribute about your loved one. You can do this privately or share it with others. Number 6 Accept your feelings You may experience a wide range of emotions from sadness, anger, or even exhaustion. All of these feelings are normal and it's important to recognize when you are feeling this way. If you feel stuck or overwhelmed by these emotions, it may be helpful to talk with a licensed psychologist or other mental health professional who can help you cope with your feelings and find ways to get back on track. Number 7 Take care of yourself and your family Eating healthy foods, exercising, and getting plenty of sleep can help your physical and emotional health The grieving process can take a toll on one's body Make sure you check in with your loved ones and that they are taking the necessary healthy steps to maintain their health. Number 8 Reserve Memories Create a memorial or tribute to the person who died by planting a tree or a garden or honor the person in a fitting way, like taking part in a charity run or walk. Make a memory box or folder that has reminders of the person who has died. Include mementos, photos, quotes, or whatever you choose. If you want, write a letter to the person in it. You might want to include your feelings, things you want to say, or perhaps thank you, your loved one, for being a part of your life. Number 9 Reach out and help others dealing with the loss. Spending time with loved ones of the deceased can help everyone cope. Whether it's sharing stories or listening to your loved one's favorite music, their small efforts can make a big difference to some.
Helping others has the added benefit of making you feel better as well. Number 10 Don't put yourself on a timeline. Much of the grieving process can take place over the course of a calendar year. However, grief can also reappear at sudden moments for many years after the loss. At holidays, anniversaries, or even during a particularly sad day. Keep in mind that you cannot get through grief on a schedule. Different people will progress differently through grief and you might continue to grieve throughout your life. Number 11. Join a support group. If you think you may be interested in going to a grief support group, ask a parent, school counselor, or religious leader how to find one. You don't have to be alone with your feelings or your pain. Remember and celebrate the lives of your loved ones. Anniversaries of a lost loved one can be a difficult time for friends and family. But it can also be a time for remembrance and honoring them. It may be that you decide to collect donations to a favorite charity of the deceased, passing on a family name to a baby, or planting a garden in memory. What you choose is up to you, as long as it allows you to honor that unique relationship in a way that feels right. Number 13. Seek professional help. While most people can grieve on their own and with the support of friends and family, mourners will need to seek extra support. If you're feeling isolated, if you leave far away from friends and family or if you are finding it difficult to function, you will likely need professional support. Ask your doctor to give you a recommendation for a bereavement counselor, support groups, or a therapist who can help you process 